today's video, we'll be comparing tethered versus untethered EV chargers. If you've recently bought an electric car, you may be wondering what the difference is between these two options, and which one will be better suited for your needs. Electric vehicle chargers come in various shapes and sizes, and one aspect that sets them apart is whether they are tethered or untethered. But what exactly does that mean? First, let's talk about tethered EV chargers. A tethered EV charger has a charging cable permanently attached to the unit. Think of it like a petrol station pump, where the hose is permanently attached and cannot be removed. So, what are the benefits of having a tethered EV charger? Convenience is one of the main advantages. With a tethered charger, you don't have to worry about getting the charging cable out of your car plugging it and unplugging it each time you want to charge. As the charging cable is permanently attached to the unit, you can easily plug it in each time you want to charge. Another advantage is that it's always accessible, which is especially convenient in adverse weather conditions or when you're in a rush. Some chargers even come with holders for need to cable storage, such as the Indra Smart Pro. Another benefit of tethered EV chargers is theft protection. Since the charging cable is permanently attached to the unit, it cannot be easily stolen. This provides an added layer of security and as charging cables can set you back around 100 to 200 pounds, this is a great benefit. Some untethered chargers may have security features like pin protection or cable lock. However, a tethered charger is the best way to provide 24 seven security from cable theft. Now, let's turn our attention to untethered EV chargers, which can also be referred to as socketed chargers. An untethered EV charger does not have a charging cable permanently attached to the unit. Instead, it has a socket for you to plug in your own EV charging cable. Each time you want to charge, you would get your own charging cable out the back of your car and plug one end into the electric vehicle charger and the other end into the electric vehicle. What advantages do untethered EV chargers offer? Well, flexibility is a key benefit. An untethered EV charger provides much more flexibility than a tethered unit. It allows you to use your own charging cable both at home and on the go, such as public charge points and workplace EV chargers. In contrast, tethered units lack this versatility and you'd need to buy a separate charging cable when charging your vehicle away from home. Additionally, with an untethered charger, guests with their own electric vehicle can charge at your property, provided their cable type is compatible. Tethered chargers, on the other hand, restrict usage if the attached cable is non-compatible, meaning friends will have to find alternative charging options, such as relying on a three-pin plug, which is much less convenient. Also, untethered chargers provide future-proofing. As the charging cable is not attached to the charging unit itself, can ensure the EV charger remains future proof. If you decide to change your electric vehicle to one with a different type of charging connection, you can without worrying about buying an entirely new charging point. Also, if your charging cable is too short, too long or gets damaged, you don't have to worry about buying an entirely new charging point like you would with a tethered EV charger. As such, you aren't limited to the cable you possess at the beginning. Lastly, untethered EV chargers are often considered more aesthetically pleasing. If you prefer a cleaner look without any visible cables, you can easily remove the charging cable out of sight. While some tethered chargers have holders or cable storage, not all of them do, so it's important to consider where you're going to hang the trailing cable. Now, you might be wondering which option is better. Well, in our opinion, neither tethered or untethered chargers are superior. It's all down to your personal preference, budget and the specific aesthetic that you're after. Each charger type has its own advantages and disadvantages. A question some people may ask is whether an EV charger can be both tethered and untethered. While this is technically not possible, there are ways to achieve a similar experience. Certain untethered EV chargers, like the Zaptec Go and Easy One, have a cable lock feature. This feature allows you to lock the charging cable in place, giving the functionality and appearance of a tethered charging unit. Of course, not all charging cables have this feature, so this is important to consider. To summarise, the key difference between tethered and untethered chargers is whether the charging cable is attached to the unit. Tethered chargers offer convenience and theft protection, whereas untethered chargers offer flexibility, future-proofing and a more aesthetically pleasing setup. The decision between the two types completely depends on your personal preferences and specific requirements. That wraps up our discussion on tethered versus untethered EV chargers. We hope this video shed some light on the topic and helped you make an informed decision. If you are thinking about getting a home EV charger installed, whether tethered or untethered, click the first link in the description to visit our website or give us a call for helpful and unbiased advice. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more EV charging content.